hey guys it's pasky love here welcome back to my youtube channel today we're doing a soft glam breathable summer makeup look super simple and easy to do so without further ado let's get started starting by removing the hair away from my face and for that I'm using my favorite silk bonnet next is skin prep this step is very important if you want a flawless makeup look starting with my clean washed and dried face the first thing I like to do is tone my skin and for that I'm using my rose water toner from Trader Joe's it's one of my favorites up next I'm taking my radiant glow face oil and two drops is enough to moisturize my face Oily skin is often caused by dry skin, so moisturizing with an oil can actually help decrease sebum production and help you look less shiny throughout the day. This Derme Face Oil is a collab with Sunkissed Alba and it's one of my favorites to use. After using an oil, the next step is to use a cream and for that I'm using a piece size of the Aveeno Lotion. It has oats which is super moisturizing and it's hypoallergenic which is perfect for sensitive skin. Next, I'm going in with my Banana Boat SPF 50 sunscreen stick. If you have acne scars and you don't want them getting darker over the summer, you should definitely think about incorporating SPF into your routine. The last step of my skin prep is using a primer. The one I'm using is the Maybelline Baby Skin. It helps my skin look matte and poreless and I absolutely love using it on my T-zone area. Now to get into the makeup, I'm starting by concealing my dark circles with my Tarte Ship Tape Concealer in the shade Deep. It instantly brightens my under eyes. I also applied a few dots of the concealer over my acne scars and the bridge of my nose. I'm going in with my sponge to blend it out. I like using this little disposable sponge because once I use it, I just get rid of it. It's super affordable and the bag comes with about 30 sponges. So I just love using those rather than using the beauty blender sponge. To further brighten up my under eyes, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 50 Cafe. The first concealer matched my skin perfectly, but this one is a hair lighter than my skin tone. I like to let it sit on my eyes for a little bit before blending it out. Doing so allows it to dry down a bit and it helps to thicken the consistency and coverage. While the concealer is sitting, I'm moving on to my brows. My brows are already tinted, but to make them look better, I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony and an angled brush to lightly fill them in. And as you can see, they don't look perfect, but they do look good enough for me. Next, I'm going in with a tiny bit of the Fit Me Concealer and a flat brush to clean and carve out my brows. I only like to conceal underneath the brow. Doing so gives a more flawless and natural look to me. Next, I'm going in with the same sponge to blend out the concealer that's been sitting on my face. To set the concealer, I'm using the Black Radiance Loose Setting Powder in the shade Banana. I like taking my sponge, tapping it into the powder and wiping out the excess powder. Then I like to press it into my skin. I do this to set my concealer and apply it to my T-zone and other parts of my face that tends to get oily throughout the day. Baking to me can look cakey, so for a fresh face, I love using this method of pressing the powder and immediately going in with a big fluffy brush to buff it out. Once that's fully blended into my skin, next to bronze my face and contour a little bit, I'm going in with the Black Radiance Medium to Dark Contour Palette. I like mixing the dark and medium shade and adding a little bit to the hollows of my cheeks and the sides of my temples to add some warmth to my face. Then I'm going in with the Black Radiant Soft Finish Powder in the shade Creamy Bronze and I'm going in with the Morphe Eyeshadow Brush to apply it over my eyelids. This adds some color and also helps to set my eyelids as well since they tend to crease throughout the day. Next, I'm taking my e.l.f. Dark Blush Palette in the Staple Brush. I'm using the darkest peachy shade to add some color to my cheeks. Then going back with my big fluffy brush to buff it out and make it look blended and flawless. Now moving to the eyes, I'm using the Beauty Bakery Lollipop Eyeliner. Here I'm only adding a little bit of the eyeliner to the outer edge of my eyes. Doing this defines my eyes and doesn't make them look too small. Next, I'm using the Black Radiance Pencil Liner and again I'm just adding a little bit to the outer edge of my bottom lash line. Now for lips, I'm using the NYX Butter Lip Cream in the shade Roam. It's a nice soft berry and rosy color that looks very natural and romantic. To add some shine, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss in the shade Fussy. The consistency of this lip gloss is perfect and it smells amazing. Now to set my entire face, I'm going in with my Trader Joe's Rose Water Toner. It also acts as a setting spray. 
After spraying my face, I'm going in with the same sponge and gently tapping it in. Doing so helps melt the powder into my skin, removes flashback and makes the makeup look like skin. For highlight, I'm using the ColourPop Super Shot Cream Highlighter. The best tool for applying cream highlighter is your finger. Here I am lightly adding some to the high points of my cheekbones, right above the bridge of my nose and underneath my brow bone. And the payoff of this highlighter is amazing as you can clearly see. To top it off and intensify the glow, I'm using the Maybelline Master Chrome Powder Highlighter in the shade 100 Molten Gold. Using a small fluffy brush, I'm going back to those same areas where I previously added the cream highlighter. Then I'm taking my pinky finger to apply a little bit to my inner eyes for some pop. To finish the eyes, I decided to throw on some lashes. For that, I'm using a tweezer and my favorite lash glue from Kiss. The glue color is black and it has a small tip applicator. I apply my lashes off camera, then taking my CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara, I'm lightly brushing my bottom lashes to add some definition. And this is the final look. As you can see, I was clearly feeling myself. This is one of my favorite summer looks when going out. It is super easy and simple to do. The lashes highlighting lip gloss makes it look glam, but the light skin makeup makes it look very soft and natural at the same time. As you can see, I did not use foundation or heavy powder for this look and that made this makeup feel super breathable on my skin for the summer. It felt very fresh and non-cakey. The Skin Prep Makeup Base helps it last on the skin and helps prevent a super oily and greasy look. This look is all about enhancing the face's natural features. It's not doing too much but it's doing enough at the same time. I really hope you guys give it a try. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And before you leave, please go ahead and watch this next video.